stage? Uh, when I was in, uh, in fact, I just happened to bring, this is from 1950. I was here for three years, uh, 48 to 50, 51, and I went to Santa Barbara High School. So I was on this stage, both as a performer playing the piano and as a singer. Uh, one of the music teachers took me under her wing and gave me private singing lessons after school. But this particular auditorium, the acoustics, uh, the memories of the time that we have spent here and this gorgeous, gorgeous, inspiring piano. I could play it 24 hours nonstop. Of the various places that I have played in Santa Barbara, uh, there, there have been many, many restaurants and uh, halls and auditoriums. But I have to say that here at the Marjorie Luke Theater has been my home base, so to speak. Uh, I'm inspired by the ghosts that are in here and the magnificent acoustics and the state-of-the-art equipment that they have here. It's just sheer joy, it's not work at all. Uh, uh, the, the many pieces that I've had a chance to play here, both classically and popular music, has been one of the joys of my life. I think the wonderful feeling that I get when I perform here at the Luke is, it's uh, a, large, a large venue, but it's an intimate venue. There isn't a, I've sat in the audience many times and in the balcony, and you always, you're right, you're right there. Uh, the stage is magnificent. Uh, it's just uh, the, between the acoustics and that intimate feeling that you get here. You don't get it in a huge, huge auditorium, but you certainly feel very intimate here. I'd, I'd give a small party here in a second. Another joy that I have here in performing at the Luke is uh, my audience is uh, an older, more mature audience, and I like to play music for their era because there aren't many places where they can go to hear the music and the type of music that they're used to. It is a, an honor, more than I can say, that coming back to the Marjorie Luke Theater, where dreams take stage, this is my dream, and I am home again.